Good morning and welcome to St. Mary's Daily Prayer. Today is February 15th, Tuesday of the sixth week in Ordinary Time, and I'm Patty Hurley here to pray with you. Our readings today are taken from the letter of St. James and the Gospel of Mark, and through them we are reminded that we are all responsible to share the Gospel message, and Jesus will sustain us as we bring others to him. So let us begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be the God of all consolation, who has shown us his great mercy. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray. O oh God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. James. Blessed is he who perseveres in temptation, for when he has been proven, he will receive the crown of life that he promised to those who love him. No one experiencing temptation should say, I am being tempted by God, for God is not subject to temptation to evil, and he himself tempts no one. Rather, each person is tempted when lured and enticed by his desire. Then desire conceives and brings forth sin, and when sin reaches maturity, it gives birth to death. Do not be deceived, my beloved brothers and sisters. All good giving and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no alteration or shadow caused by change. He willed to give us birth by the word of truth, that we may be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, bless the man you instruct, O Lord. Bless the man you instruct, O Lord. Bless the man whom you instruct, O Lord, whom by your law you teach, giving him rest from evil days. Bless the man you instruct, O Lord. For the Lord will not cast off his people, nor, um, nor abandon his inheritance. But judgment shall again be with justice, and all the upright of heart shall follow it. Bless the man you instruct, O Lord. When I say, my foot is slipping, your mercy, O Lord, sustains me. When cares abound within me, your comfort gladdens my soul. Bless the man you instruct, O Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples had forgotten to bring bread, and they had only one loaf with them in the boat. Jesus enjoined them, Watch out, guard against the leaven of the Pharisees and the leaven of Herod. They concluded among themselves that it was because they had no bread. When he became aware of this, he said to them, Why do you conclude that it is because you have no bread? Do you not understand or comprehend? Are your hearts hardened? Do you have eyes and not see ears and not hear? And do you not remember when I broke the five loaves for the five thousand, how many wicker baskets full of fragments you picked up? They answered him, 12. When I broke the seven loaves for the 4,000, how many full baskets of fragments did you pick up? They answered him, seven. He said to them, do you still not understand? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us now bring our cares and our concerns to our Heavenly Father. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For our call for stewardship, that we may be good stewards of the gifts that God has given us by addressing the challenges of our parish community and by responding generously with time, talent, and treasure, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that we may experience Christ looking upon us with love and respond generously to what he asks of us today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for an end to the pandemic and full restoration of our community, that God will protect the human family from new variants and suppress the virus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who need physical or spiritual healing, that God may give their bodies and minds comfort and wholeness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they may be brought into the eternal peace of God's presence through Jesus, who is the resurrection and the life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us now pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. God of mercy, we thank you for the gift of your Son and the road to redemption paved by his sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Go in peace and have a terrific day.